And now it's time for today's guest. Yeah. Jane Hasune is best known for his role as Melorian in the freeform Netflix original Shadowhunters. But now he's turning to music with his upcoming EP, Love Letter to Fandom. Today he returns to brunch to talk about what fans can expect from the new album. Here to tell us more is Jane Hasune. Thank you. Good oh to God. see all of you. I'm so happy to see your blue hair like in it? real life yes. because I've just been thirsting on you on Instagram. <laughs> you're so gorgeous oh God, and your really vibe are. shoots through the wow. photos. You always brighten my day. I'm so glad to see you all. I know. Thank it's you good. for having me again. Uh, we are so happy to have you. Feels like very excited. Me. It does. You don't know how much it means to an artist like that. You guys believe in me. That's Aww. like huge. Well, we you love you. We haven't stopped talking for the past year. Remember, we have the same birthday. Yeah, I know. So, like, I just feel <laughs> so cosmically connected. And like you know what? Months? Brittany showed me this book where what? her birthday and my birthday, our connection mm -hmm. is really steps strong. to the underworld. Mm -hmm. So you and I have the same dynamic. So we can all go to hell together. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's dark, but it's yeah. fun. Been there. Did you? Do you know? I was running to get here on time. Like my whole <laughs> life, I was terrified to not arrive on time. Oh, we would have waited. Yeah, you know. Waited. Jade, we're glad you're here, and we're glad you're here to talk about your upcoming EP, Love yeah. Letters to uh, a Fandom. I'm yeah. so excited for you because you know we of course know you as an actor, but now you're you're, you're a singer, and <laughs> we're excited to hear your music. So, can you tell us about the inspiration behind the EP? Uh, well, I wanted to. I mean, that's something I've always wanted to do, and it was just the right time. And when the show was kind of completing, and mm -hmm. we've been touring, we're going into our fourth year of touring the world, really, just to meet the fans and. Going through so many emotions and so many, like it, it's such like a bittersweet vibe to to travel and to live your dream, and at the same time you're always leaving, yeah. and saying goodbye to people and meeting amazing people and then leaving them and you know continuing. So it's kind of like a lonely, and also very not lonely experience. Mm. So there's a lot of things that go on within. So I wanted to, I mean, I got things the inspiration to express it in, into song about a year ago and. Um, it created a few songs, and it's a way for me to continue the connection with the fans that we've had, that we've built, you know. Even though the show's over, it doesn't mean it's over, so I can continue on um, that connection and, and bring it forward and bring it into a deeper way, which is more emotional, and it's my, it's my voice, it's my story. It's things I don't talk about on social media and things like that, you know, so that was the inspiration. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself to... I had to do it. I had to do it. Yeah, and so your first single Insta story was mm -hmm. inspired by a meet and greet you had a year ago. Well, right? it was in a meet and greet. It was it was it was a, it was love. It was love. Right. It was heartbreak. Aww. It was heartbreak <laughs> and turned into art. You know, uh, same thing. Met. I mean, I meet people and I fell in love so many times. It's like so hard not to. And then so you know, people beautiful. don't. <laughs> I mean, people don't like you back the same way sometimes. And people have lives, and we go back to our countries and everything. And and it's not the fans. I mean, there is the fans uh, in there in the stories, but yeah. for this specific one, it was really just meeting someone, falling but in love. Did a fan then, not love you back? No, it wasn't a fan. It was a fan. The fans love me like to infinity. You, know? you like, just give don't... us like whoever doesn't love you back, you give us those names. <laughs> we will we'll find them. It's so nice yeah. to hear. No, but Seriously. you know, I'm so glad it happened because. I love that song, and it just um, it created launched everything for me. So it's an, uh, yeah, it's an incredibly relatable song. As it someone is. who just went, I went through a breakup. I can tell you this one quote: oh. "I'm not gonna click on your icon to watch a story because I know it's gonna hurt me." Exactly. Uh. Girl, I have been <laughs> there. That very, just got me right literally, here. literally a week ago, I have been there. Um, so and so, everyone uses Instagram, oh, and yeah. they can they can That's relate cool. to this exactly. Do you like? Was it important for you to kind of to to use social media and to kind of do something that's very Gen Z, very millennial, something that like a, that a love thing that like us that yeah. is pure to our generation? Yeah, I really wanted to do that. And some people have told me like, "What? Well, you sure you want to put this one up first? It's like it's not the best one or whatever." I was like, "Yeah, yeah I do, I do." Because that's because for the fans, for example, that's the way we connect, you know, through social media, especially through Instagram. Um, so I wanted to do something that I knew we would all relate to because we all feel that, you know, we click on people's stories, they're having the best time ever, and you're not there, and you're watching them having the best time ever. Or if it's a heartbreak, you're watching them be so okay without you, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's what I was feeling. And, and really when I wrote that song that day, it was like I claimed my power back. I was, you know, so when I wrote the song is when I let them go finally, and mm -hmm. I just decided, like, you know, I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm just going to enjoy my night and my life and um, not look at it anymore and, to, and not feel so 
you know, unwanted, mm. but I still clicked. Yeah. <laughs> I still looked at it. I was going to say, do you, uh, do you have a Finsta where you can look at your exes and they don't know it's you? <laughs> no, I didn't oh, know that. Oh, no, me either. neither. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. That's for shady people. Uh, <laughs> I don't do that. I'm yes, just you asking, do. asking, like, in general. That's yes, you do. Can you like behave? It's a thing that behave. people have done. Finsta? Like yeah. I don't even know what that like word is. Yeah, like don't follow her down the dark. <laughs> don't take her to the underworld. Okay. So but, your other single, yeah. your newest single, to, uh, the to the next, honestly is a summer bop, but it's also like, you know, very deep. It's about people's opinions about you mm -hmm. and your art, and you just decided mm -hmm. to like forget that, put that to, to, to the yeah. side and just be yourself. Yeah. So like talk more about that and like how do you stay true to yourself? Because you're oh, so man. just like <laughs> free. That's kind. Very, <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, you guys, I love you. You're all very sweet. Nice. Um, well, I just continue on, and, and that's the point of the song. It's like, okay, I made some art. Uh, that song was me a year ago. <laughs> the next day, I was someone new, yeah. you know? So someone can cr criticize. And it's funny, because it was people close to me. It was like my best friends, my family, people I would like play my songs to throughout the process. And everybody has something to say. Everybody has something to say, which is valid, and which is great and valuable to evolve. But sometimes the, the song is finished, and you play it for someone, and you're like, yeah, do you want to like, hear this? Like, so they're like, mm, you know, you should really think about doing, or this isn't really, or you sure you want to do? Yeah. And there's that. And then I was projecting kind of like the response of like people thinking it's crap, or just my own insecurity of, of music and, and thinking like people don't take me seriously or whatever, all that stuff. And I just decided, you know what? I, I've, I've evolved already just by making this piece mm -hmm. of art. And, and I just got to continue creating stuff. And if you thought my last art was like not good enough, then it's too bad because I've already evolved. I'm way past that. You know, I've already written ten more songs. Right. So um, it's kind of what this, what it's about. Like be yourself and enjoy. And who cares what they think? I mean, that's we've yeah. heard that so many times. But but it's kind of like a thing. And it's funny because sometimes I listen to them again and and I remind myself, like my past self reminds mm -hmm. myself not to care mm -hmm. and to just continue. You know. So I'm glad that I could do that for others who yeah. listen to it. You are really, really good at, I feel like, having a constant rebirth. Like, you are not attached to your past. Like, you said who you are yesterday is not who you are today. Mm -hmm. And that's something I feel like most humans struggle with. Like, mm -hmm. we get really stuck with, like, I guess I'm a lazy person, and they <laughs> live that. Yeah. How do you, like, embody that just, like, freedom of constantly mm -hmm. transforming? Well, um, you know, our nature is so vast and it's so uh, free and it doesn't have a physical form or any specific form. So I reconnect to that sort of space every day or every, any chance I get, you know. I like breathe in the morning and meditate, just like quiet my mind and just reach that place that isn't who I am, but it's still aware. So that's, that's the ocean of awareness that we are that is constantly changing. So I connect to that more than me here in this human form, mm -hmm. um, you know, who mm -hmm. messed up yesterday or who was late today or all those things, you know. So it's, it takes a focus. It takes a conscious, you know, direction of your mind to do that. Uh, it's a constant practice, mm -hmm. and that's how I do it. You know where you should go? Are you going to go to the Area 51 Festival? <laughs> I feel like I'm dying to go, and I feel like you would just like... Shannon, I really don't want you guys to get shot. No, I, we're, good. we're not going to get... Do you think bullets can stop us? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Try um, it. No, I don't think so. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> but it'd be super fun, and I'm super glad that it like evolved into something like that. Yeah, actually. it's really positive. I, I saw don't people's, know. I saw Tinder people that have like a sticker, like an Area 51 yeah. on their profile. Did you see that at all? Yeah, uh, yeah, I have. I would love going? to go, but the army was straight up like, "We will shoot you." No, no, they're that. not. We're not going to storm Area 51. It's a festival off to the side. Oh. So Area 51 is going to be there, and we're just going to be like, mm -mm. "We're going to lure the aliens out of Area, <laughs> area 51." I got you. I mean, they're already out, being like. Look at these humans. I know, look at these dummies. <laughs> Come on. But that sounds fun. That right. sounds fun. You know, I'll Maybe be there. Maybe another time I'd go with you. I'll get the But let's go to any music festival together. Like, I'm okay. super down for that. Uh, Afropunk is in, like, next week or something. Let's Which? go. Afropunk. It's really oh, fun if you've never where been. Where is it? In Brooklyn. Oh, man. Yeah, it's really dope. Um, you mentioned your evolvingness, yeah. but also your music mm -hmm. doesn't fit into one genre perfectly. No, you sort of really sample doesn't. trap and dance mm -hmm. and a little tropical vibe. So mm -hmm. how did you find the sound for this EP? Uh, I'm working with my best friend uh, to create the music and to write, and so, it's so cool. And um, we kind of wanted to explore things we like, yeah. so we did a bunch of different genres, and we, we didn't really decide, okay, we're going to do this or that. We knew it was going to be pop music, and now pop music is so vast, so we did a lot of different stuff. Like, in the fall, there's going to be a trap 
hip hop ish pop track coming yeah. out. So, and that's one of my favorites. I think it's like the first one I finished. That's but I knew I had to do it like reverse engineer it from like super poppy into more of the vibe that I'd like to do more often. Mm. But we'll see, and I and I and I see the response. And right now, my my intuition is to go with the seasons. Mm. You know, so that's why I release those tracks in the summer, and then I want to do um, more of like hip hop vibes for the fall. Makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Darker. Do you have any musical influences that are you're really listening to now that oh you really kind of respect and? I do. I do have so many. Um, I'm obsessed with Kim Petras. Mm. Okay. I saw her live. You did? Man. During Pride. She was fucking awesome. Yeah, she's just so <laughs> yeah. fucking awesome. Um, I love Ali X. I love, uh, I still am obsessed with my like Latino pop stars. I love J Balvin, Bad Bunny, mm. Jeff Killa. Um, what about Latino pop star Drake Bell? <laughs> Drake Bell? Yeah. Did you listen to his, his Latin album? No, no. Fuego Lento? No. <laughs> Yeah, we had him on the show. He was pretty chill. Oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. Um, there's so many. I mean, and sometimes I go into like hermit creative mode where I like stop listening to all music. Yeah. And other times, like, I've been absorbing. I mean, I've been absorbing. I've been going to like music festivals and just like being like, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, and just absorbing all these talented humans and just like amazed by the joy of celebrating music. Like, it just, and it was my first time. I don't know why I haven't done that before, but. Mm -hmm. I did Oshiaga in Montreal, and they gave me passes to go, and that's I'm meeting dope. all these people, and it's just like, that's just what I want to do. Yeah, when you, you know? surround yourself by artists, it's yeah. just so inspiring. It is so yeah. is, yeah. So cool. What would be your dream place to perform? Music. <sighs> Outside. Outside? Um, yeah, like, oh, you mean like a country? It. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm going to try to do what I've been doing so far, where I've been going, like, you know, Paris, Milan, um, Brussels, uh, I'd love to do Spain. I want to do some some Germany. Uh, mm. I'd love to do some in Korea. I'd love to perform in Montreal in my own city. Like it's so weird because I'm coming back to my own city and like I'm a stranger in my mm. own city, you know? Because I went out and I did stuff out there and meeting all these people. And I was like, who are you? I'm like, I'm I'm from here, you know? <laughs> like what? So uh, yeah, I would love to do that in my own city. That would feel so um, fulfilling mm -hmm. to do it in my own place. But it's starting to happen. Like these little yeah, seeds are starting. I'd love to perform in LA. I'd love to perform mm -hmm. like on the beach somewhere. <laughs> Toronto would be awesome too. I mean, well, places I guess I have like an emotional connection with that yeah. I've been to. Whenever, before. we would love to see you live. So whenever yeah. that happens, yeah. we're going to be oh, there. Man. Jay, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you guys. Woo! Thank you. Love letter to a fan that will be out in early fall. But in the meantime, you can now stream Insta Story and To The Next online. That's all from us. We'll see you on Monday, same time, same table. Bye, everyone. Woo!